This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Netflix. Interested in Ubuntu, but you don't want to commit to partitioning your drive or turning your PC into a Linux machine quite yet? There is a really easy way to run it alongside Windows and still get the full OS for both of them. Wubi, aka Windows-based Ubuntu installer, is an official Windows-based free software installer for Ubuntu. Wubi's goal is to assist a Windows user who isn't too knowledgeable in Linux in trying Ubuntu without risking any loss of information due to disk formatting or partitioning. Wubi can also uninstall Ubuntu from within Windows, kind of like an application or a program that you would normally install in that OS. Now, you may be thinking that sounds kind of like a virtual machine inside Windows, but it's not. Wubi creates a disk image that can run directly from the hardware, no virtual machine needed. It adds a new entry to the boot menu, so a user has the option to run Linux Ubuntu or Windows. In this way, it's a little bit different from my usual portable apps because you won't be using Grub to boot onto the Linux distro Ubuntu, but it'll still be installed on the actual Windows file system, and Linux is going to think that it's a real hard disk, giving you the option to boot from it. It does sound very epic win and like super easy, but there are some limitations. First off, hibernation isn't supported, and second of all, hard reboots can happen. Also, if you get a blue screen of death in Windows, you do have to reboot Windows and then shut it off and then boot your computer again to access the Linux distro as Ubuntu won't be able to mount the drive successfully until your machine has cleanly rebooted. Very important process there. Performance is going to be a little bit slower than a normal Ubuntu install, but not by much, so it's not really something you need to worry about that much. This is because you're going through the Windows file system to access the Ubuntu distro instead of just booting directly off of Ubuntu. I also wanted to mention that you can have Wubi on a USB drive. Ah, there are a couple of other versions of it too. There's Luby for Linux and Mubi for Mac, which is still in the works, but yeah, maybe uh, Paul will get some use out of that one. If all this sounds really weird to you, I'm going to do a little bit of a step-by-step -step of how Wubi works and what it looks like to dual boot from Ubuntu using this program. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on installing Ubuntu. So first off, you need to go over to the Ubuntu website and go to the Windows Installer page under Download. Under One, choose Start Download. And this is the Ubuntu Installer for Windows, wubi.exe, so I'll click on that. And click Run, of course. Okay, you're about to install Ubuntu 11.04. Please select username and password for the new account. So I'm going to be snubs, because that's awesome. An easy password. So after you choose your username and password, you're going to have to choose your installation drive. C is my default one. Installation size, the default is 17 gigs, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that too. Uh, that's like how much room that you want to actually make for your Linux box. The desktop environment, you do get a couple of choices in here. You can choose Ubuntu, which is the one I'm going to go with, Ubuntu Netbook, Kubuntu, which is cool because it's KDE, of course. There's Zubuntu and Mythbuntu. I'm going to stick with Ubuntu, of course English, and choose Install. Okay, once the progress bar is finally complete, it took my computer like 10, 15 minutes to actually install everything. It'll ask me if I want to reboot later or reboot now. I'm going to go ahead and reboot now so we can see what happens. Yay! Right, there you go. Okay, so now that I have Ubuntu installed, I have the choice to go into Windows 7 or Ubuntu. So I'm going to choose Ubuntu. And now it's going to complete the installation. I think it's working. All right, log in as snubs. Yay! I have Ubuntu. I'm kind of excited right now. Oh, ooh, look, it's pretty. Ooh, look at all the neat things I can do. Snubs. Chat accounts. Okay, so this is Unity. Um, 
All right. Well, I think I'll spend some time playing around with Unity and see if I actually like it. I mean, it's it's pretty. The icons are huge. They're like grandma eye icons. Um, but it looks nice, and it seems that Ubuntu installed correctly. So, Wubi. From using Wubi, I can tell that this is a really, really good way for someone to actually get their feet wet in the world of Ubuntu without having to actually fully install it. It does make it super easy to get into Linux, and it feels like an actual install. Well, it was an actual install, especially when you get the option to boot Windows or Ubuntu on the boot up screen. That's like really cool. I, I feel like I totally went through the whole dual, dual boot process. Oh, it's kind of pretty. It makes it feel like you've installed Ubuntu completely separate from Windows, even though from its limitations, you know that that's not actually the case, but you don't really have to tell anybody that, right? Yeah. I think this is a really good tool for beginners or just to make life easier for anyone. Now you guys can always send me email. Email me your thoughts over at feedbackhack5.org. And coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions. But first, let's take a break. And then we'll check in with Kirby and Starbuck for the meow of the week. Meow. I'm going to play. With Netflix, the world's largest subscription streaming service, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies to your Microsoft Xbox 360, the Sony PS3 console, the Nintendo Wii console, and your computer for one low monthly price. No late fees, no due dates, and for a limited time, Hack5 viewers can get a free 30-day trial membership at netflix.com slash hack5. Sign up now and be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. 